Hello Gemini, this is Alex and I'm here to bring you your weekly tarot reading. Hopefully it's related to love or any information you're needing clarification on. So let us see what God, angels, and universe has in store for you, Gemini. All right, you guys are the last reading of the day, and I am exhausted, so no shenanigans. Oh, Virgo is present. Who are you hiding out from, Gemini? All right, all right, listen, I don't have time. <laughs> Two of wands. Got a lot of wands. A couple of wands. The top row will represent you, Gemini. Bottom row is your person and your situation. I'm going to place a row in the middle, which will represent any additional guidance, information, or uh, underlying details from your situation that God Angels Universe wants you guys to know about. Ooh, you got the Ace of Cups twice. Look at that, the Three of Cups. Gemini, yes. All right, what do we have here? Let's finish strong, God. Let's finish strong. Okay, you got the Hermit with the Devil. Good Lord, who's in hideout? Or somebody's ducking the devil? It's like, ugh. Ooh. Capricorn and Virgo. Oh. I just hear somebody is in hot pursuit. Could have been somebody you met online. Um, I do kind of feel like they are attracted to your wealth and value. Like they see you as like, you know, this highly... Um, valued person whether you have valuable and materialistic items but I, I just keep kind of seeing this person trying to peek and spy and poke at what do you have what does she have what is she doing what is it right like if you take a picture with a car they're trying to like zoom in and see the type of car it is and you know um, what I'm also getting to is a bunch of small cryptic messages I'm also hearing decoding. I guess some of you guys are having to decode some of these messages. And I do kind of feel like they're sending them to you maybe in abundance, letting you know how they feel about you and what it is that they want from you. Um, this person is highly attractive, attracted to you. Sometimes they can be a little standoffish, a little blocked up themselves. But I do find, kind of feel like there is an attraction here that's not going anywhere. If I was completely being honest, this feels like a clutch, a clutch, a grip. Like they have a hold on you more so than just are attracted to you. You have the Ace of Cups here twice and you have the Three of Cups. This is beautiful. Um, I do feel like there is a new beginning in this relationship. Maybe the heart is opening for the first time in a long time. And it's taken someone a lot of strength, a lot of uh, uh, energy and attention to get this done. I also kind of feel like whomever heart is being opened could be yours, Gemini. You're going to need to trust this person a whole lot before you even come close to opening your heart. You want to know that they're not going to hurt you, basically. I mean, that's that's typical for a standard human being. Um, <laughs> I just heard, if not, like, if you're going to waste my time, then I could just go ahead and get on and be happy with the rest of my life. So it's, I, don't, I don't feel like this is an ultimatum, but I do kind of feel like, listen, if I let you back in, don't come with the shenanigans. Uh-uh, we not doing those no more. Like, you got to bring that ace of cup with you everywhere you go when, when dealing with me. I also kind of feel like your person feels like you are their one. You're their person. You're their soulmate. They may not necessarily believe in soulmates like most of you do, but I do kind of feel like they, they feel like you're the perfect fit, the perfect person for them specifically. 
I'm also hearing too, you fit into my lifestyle so nicely. Okay. And, and these two cards here, I'm hearing, you know, should I just forget them, leave them behind and just go on with my life? Mm. We'll see when we clarify those. With the, the Capricorn energy of the devil and the Virgo energy of the hermit, that's probably why you're hiding out, Capricorn, um, excuse me, Gemini. It's probably why you're hiding out because it's almost like you know that they're just in this for themselves. Not only that, but I kind of feel like you might have called them out on that as well. It's like you're just being selfish, bro. Like you just want, you just want me, you just gonna, you know, kind of want to come and get what you want. But what's in it for me is what I'm getting. Queen of Swords. It was like, hold my beer, Paige. Here come the queen. Um, this feels like a, a third party. Like somebody came in and just regulated. Like maybe you guys were communicating with each, each other and got caught by whoever this Queen of Swords is. And she just regulated shit and just shut shit down. Gemini, that could be you as well. As in, again, listen, if I'm opening up my heart to you, you better stop with this old itty-bitty coded communication. You better come with, with some real, real-life adult grown man shit, right? I also hear if you want me, prove it. Like, you keep talking about it, be about it. And I feel like that's this exchange. That's the Nine of Pentacles, the um, Queen of swords and page of swords Ooh, the manifestation of love and us being together who is that i feel like that's you gemini trying to um manifest this this love back into your life i also hear you're trying to repair this connection like a me mechanic would repair a flat queen of pentacles Ooh, with the queen of wands interesting there could, yeah, this could be a third party because with these two queens here, it's almost like he ain't trying to let either one of y'all go or she ain't trying to let either one of y'all go if you're a male. What I'm also hearing too is that, yeah, you just want me for my body or what about my mind and, you know, um, the other parts of me. Yeah, I just keep hearing stuff like go big or go home. Like, for some reason, Gemini, I feel like this is your energy, but for some reason, I'm just like, you're not putting up with the the, the flim-flam no more. <laughs> and your person eventually will give in. They're going to struggle for a minute. They're going to struggle like a caged animal. And um, I also hear that they got to get better at expressing their love to you. They got to get better at that. You know, especially with all this coding and this short messaging and, you know, this little crypt, these little cryptic messages. It's like, boo, I, I don't give a shit how many messages you send, but the content of those messages better be able to fill my cup because I'm not dealing with that, you know, the minimal stuff anymore. Cancer, the chariot on the bottom. So the question earlier was like, you know, should I consider this other person or should I go on with the rest of my life and be happy? That chariot, you know, is the card of movement and motion, right? It's cancer basically saying, go on with the rest of your life and be happy. This person, you know, um, I don't feel like they're going anywhere again because of the four of pentacles. Like I said, they may, they're not willing to let you go, nor they may not be willing to let go their other person if this is a third party. Um... They're not willing to let you go as either a friend and also fuck buddy, call it what you want. Um, they're going to hold on to as much as they can for as long as they can. So you think you're going to go off and have a good time and be happy and live life. Your person going to be right there behind you holding on and clinging. Religious factors. Mm -hmm. I just feel like your person is not in a position to let you go. You know, religious factor, factors to me is kind of like those rules that you live by. And I just feel like, Gemini, you are etched into their daily activities, their daily routine, the way that they think, who they think they are. It's almost like you're a part of them and they're just not willing to let that go. What I say? 
Why well, I say reconciliation. But again, what are you reconciling for peanuts? Or are you reconciling for the whole kit and caboodle? Stay optimistic about your love life. And that says to me, Gemini, you know what? You don't have to close the door on this. You could just crack it and then go live your life. Card at the bottom. Woo! Release your ex. The universe may want you to get rid of this person because they could be clogging and blocking you from the next opportunity. Right? Um, angels are saying, well, how could they... It would be incredibly hard for a human to turn down open and free love. That makes that makes a million percent sense. But if that love is open and free, however minimal and inconsistent, and comes around every third full moon, then it is possible for that person to release that open opened cupped love, if that makes sense, Gemini. So it's like, yeah, I, this person loves me. That's great. I love them too. But if I'm seeing you like every six months, every two months, every five months, I love you, but you you can have this love back, baby, because I, I want some more consistent love. You know what I mean? Anyway, Gemini, I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. If it resonates, please feel free and like and subscribe. If you're interested in a personal reading, contact details are below. Love you. Bye.